Knock, knock. Who's there? PlayStation. PlayStation who? And that, my friends, is apparently how Sony feels about his gaming division. Let's get into it. What's up peoples, what's up peoples, what's up people? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Hey yo, before we get too deep into this one, can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit those bells for notifications please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. Hey, I appreciate all of y'all straight up, cause I ain't too proud to ask, you know what I mean? All right y'all, so let's get into it, you know what I mean? Okay, look, breaking news. Breaking news from Bloomberg, okay? PlayStation apparently was largely left out of negotiations with Microsoft over New Deal, a report again from Bloomberg, Bloomberg states. All right, so for those of you that don't know, Microsoft and Sony have collaborated on a deal to do some cloud gaming um, endeavors. They're working together um, to store both of their respective cloud gaming services, which I would assume would be PS and uh, PlayStation Now and the X Cloud will both be on the Azure servers owned by Microsoft. They've also signed a memorandum to look further into cloud gaming and other gaming tech. Now this has shocked many in the gaming community as it seemed like that a lot of the PlayStation fanboys out here were saying, yo, PlayStation does not follow the loser. Winners never follow the losers. Well, it looks like this is the exception to the rule. And this deal between Sony and Microsoft is definitely groundbreaking and has ramifications across multiple business lines, including gaming. But again, according to this breaking report from Bloomberg News that I'm going to read to you courtesy of it being consolidated by GameSpot, you know what I mean? This deal took many by surprise, many more than you may anticipate. More than just us in the gaming community, more than content creators, but PlayStation themselves were rocked about this deal. They were shocked and rocked. So let me read this to you. Okay, it says, PlayStation was largely left out of negotiations with Microsoft over a new deal, all right? Managers had to calm workers and assure them that plans for company's next generation console weren't affected, all right? Now, the story also reads, last week, Microsoft and Sony made the unexpected announcement that they were laying the groundwork for future partnership that could unite PlayStation and Xbox in some way. A new report from Bloomberg states that the news caught the PlayStation team by surprise. The story cites people with knowledge of the situation who say Sony negotiated with Microsoft on the deal largely without the involvement of the PlayStation team. It continues to read that negotiations with Microsoft began last year and were held directly by Sony senior management in Tokyo, largely without the involvement of the PlayStation unit, according to people familiar with the matter, Bloomberg reported. Staff at the gaming division were caught off guard by the news. Managers had to calm down workers and assure them that plans for the company's next generation console weren't affected, said people asking not to be identified discussing private matters. The story continues on to read, Sony feels threatened by this trend and the mighty Google and has decided to leave its network infrastructure to build up one with Microsoft, being the previous infrastructure was with Amazon. Asymmetric advisor strategist, st uh, strategist, excuse me, Amir and Vars day I might've butchered that, told Bloomberg, why would they sleep with the enemy unless they felt threatened? Okay, so here's what to take from all this people, okay? Now your boy MM2K, not too long ago, matter of fact, a day before this record, I did a video where I talked about in full length this whole situation with the PlayStation and Microsoft deal. And essentially what it means for gaming in totality. It essentially means that the gaming console war is over. In addition to the gaming console war, any cutthroat competition between Microsoft and Sony is, is, is essentially over. As reported by Bloomberg and other sources, it was air apparent that both Microsoft and Sony are very fearful of Google. So the hardcore brass can sit there and laugh at Google Stadia all you want. But you've had Madbox that bowed out, or, or, or their investors bowed out. Now that whole console that was supposed to be coming abroad is doomed. 
And now you have the act of what, again, many people are equating to sleeping with the enemy. Sony now working in tandem with Microsoft for cloud solutions and cloud gaming. And again, this has taken a lot of fanboys by surprise, but it also took PlayStation by surprise, but it really shouldn't. Not too long ago, the great Jack Trenton, the guy that helped bring PlayStation back from the brink of death last generation to stardom this generation, told y'all that the reason why he left Sony was because Sony does not focus on individual contributions. It's all about what's gonna work about work for Sony. And because Sony is so fearful of this whole cloud gaming uh, situation and their poor footing into it, as they may have thought, they decided to do this. Sleep with the enemy, quote unquote, in the eyes of so many uh, hardcore fans and even the uh, PlayStation brass. So you gotta ask yourself, what is Sony's number one priority? Is it you the gamer? No. Is it even their team at the PlayStation gaming division? No. <laughs> As Jack Tritton told you again, Sony is all about Sony. And what Sony's number one agenda is, what any of these Fortune 500 companies number one agenda is, is the market and their investors. As MM2K has always been telling you, you the consumer. Those of us that are out here in these gaming streets, these YouTube streets, damage controlling for Sony or Microsoft. They don't care about us primarily. They care about their investors. We're just a catalyst to their investors. Look, we got consumer confidence up so high, you're gonna make a lot of money with us. That's all they care about. Hence, look at the moves that have been happening in 2019 alone from Sony and the things that have been happening from Microsoft since I want to say 2016, 2017, when they no longer cared to battle Sony for the fight for your living room. And that's it, period. So with that being said, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you the truth. What you need to do is recognize, realize, and strategize. Get angry at the people that have led you astray if you don't like these moves, because you're the consumer and you don't have to invest in these companies nor should you damage control for them if you don't like what's happening. Shouldn't damage control, period. Keep everything on the up and up and transparent. But with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Like I always tell you, you can come with me and come at me. It don't matter to your boy. But if you did like what I had to say, leave something in the comment section below, like I said, and you can also click the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples, Snow Bunny. Neethals, Dirt Griggity on Dirt Griggity's channel. It's called Scram Punk. Check us out every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? Shows fly. And last but not least, follow my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. We're doing the damn thing out here. You know what I'm saying? We got the Discord link. We got the merchandise, the shirts, the crack and the slack, and all that stuff, man. It's fly. And as always, look, fanboys, take off your knee pads. Hashtag take off your knee pads. The console war is over. You have a wonderful gaming day.